Join me in this webinar recap where I'll show you how to use the photo first feature in WebWriter. All right, so I'm beginning in WebWriter and basically to get to WebWriter, you go to your dashboard and click on WebWriter and it opens up another tab in your browser. You can go to the app as well on your phone and this type of inspecting, most people are gonna be on their mobile device for this style. And the instructions are gonna be the same. Everything that you see is gonna reflect the same on your mobile device. But when you're using a mobile device, you'll have the option to use your device's camera. Whereas when I'm on the computer, I don't have a camera to use. So it will just go through the workflow of loading up pictures off of my computer. We'll just pretend that I was using my camera for those steps. Right. Photo first inspecting, it's just like what it sounds. You take a photo first or a group of photos, and then you go to the media gallery for your report. And within the media gallery, you can assign comments to it. So I will open up a report that I began ahead of time in preparation for this right here. So I've already got this report going and I arrive on site. Well, first I would take a picture of the cover photo of the house. So we've got our cover page of the house. Next, we'll move on to the roof. On the roof, you don't really wanna to spend too much time while you're in the app. You just wanna kind of walk the roof, take your pictures, do your inspecting, but you don't want to be on a roof in the app trying to find comments and things like that. So with photo first inspecting, what you would do is first go to your device's camera. So just, I like to recommend this because when you're in your device's camera, you don't have to do as many taps to take photos. So you just open up your device's camera, snap all your photos, do all your inspecting. So you're taking pictures of general photos of the roof. You're also taking maybe CYA photos and you're also doing defects. You come back down your ladder and what you do is you go to the app now and you open up the media gallery. And then once you do that, you'll go over here to add media. Now imagine that I just took all those photos and this is my phone's device gallery. So that's what that would be. So I go to add media and then I basically go in here, highlight and select all the pictures that I took while I was on the roof. So I've got a whole group of them and then I'll load them all up in a bulk fashion and that's saving a lot of clicks just in that one step right there. So I've got all my pictures, overviews, CYAs and defects. So the next thing after that, what I do is I would go and annotate the photo. So I like this workflow and that's why I recommend it. So I go to the first photo that I took. It opens it up on my device where I can annotate it here. I don't really need to say anything. I'm just going to hit the arrow over to the right until I find a picture that I want to add markings to, or I can also add like a description, like a location description down at the bottom. So I will click annotate and it's just nice because you can do this on your mobile device, which is great. It's pretty quick. So I've got a couple arrows there. I'll click save. So I'll go to the next one, uh, next one. And the idea is you just kind of knock out all your annotations that you might have. All in one kind of swoop. That's just a general photo. Another general photo, another one I don't really need to talk about. I think this might be my last one. Okay, so I'm all done. I've annotated all the photos from the roof and it's done, won't have to do it later. The next step is to select photos that have the same comment. So let's see here. I'm going to start with my general photos. So I've got this one, I've got this one, and this one. So I've put a little check in all those. And then down here at the bottom, I'll click assign. 
When I click assign, I can just select this toggle here that says assign to home tour. So if you don't know, WebWriter has a spot for your general complimentary home tour photos. So I'll just click that toggle and I'll select done. They are now added to the home tour. You'll notice down here at the bottom, it will say home tour. Now, the best thing to do for efficiency is to use this hide used option here. So I'll click that and it just streamlines and, may, and allows you to go through everything faster. There's also a filter sort here. So I'm gonna sort by descending order, ascending order, and I'll just move on to the next photos here. So I've got my chimney cap, it is damaged. So I've got two of those selected. I'll click assign. And then here, instead of searching, you know, I could click into these different sections and try to find my comment, but this is what you wanna get used to. You wanna get used to actually searching for it because it will save time. So I know my comment has the word cap in it, talking about a chimney cap. I'll go to the search will show you what system has what number of comments that have that word. So electrical is three. I know it's not electrical. Fireplace and chimney, I'll click on that. And the item has chimney and flue, I'll click on that. And there are three comments with the word cap. I'll find the one that I like that matches. I'll just check it and select done. Move on to the next one. So I'll go to my next situation where I've got a bunch of moss on the roof. So I'll check those two pictures. I'll go down here to assign. I'll type in the word moss. And I get a couple options. There's a comment in building exterior and roof. Roof is what I'm looking for. I'll click on roof material next. Then I'll check has excessive moss buildup. Now that's not my entire comment, just so you know, if you haven't experienced WebWriter that much, that is just the summary comment. It allows you to see more comments in a more streamlined way because it actually has a full text. If you want to see the full text, you can always click on manage comment. And let's see here, you kind of have to scroll until you get to the toggle there, but it's got the full text here. If I wanted, I could edit it, stuff like that but I'm gonna hit done. All right, so next we're gonna go in here and I've got some photos just showing that the roof is aged and ending uh, near the end of its life. I'll click on assign, type in end of life or end of the search. I like to just do keywords. It it's kind of like a stream of consciousness search. So when you type end of, it actually will filter, but then if the next word isn't exactly what the comment says, then it won't really work. So just keep that in mind when you're searching, um, go with a keyword, and as you get used to it, it becomes a lot more fluid. So I type end of, now I'm looking at roof, got roof material here, nearing end of life, and I'll click done. All right, and so my last three for the roof, I'll just select those. I also can use a select all here as well for speed. I'll click assign. I know this one is gonna be a boot for the plumbing vent. So I just type in boot. I go to plumbing vent. I've got my rubber boot flashing is damaged. I could have used any of those keywords. I'll click done and I'm all done. Now, if I had CYA photos in here, they would still show and that's totally fine because they're stored for you now. You don't have to deal with figuring out how to store and save your CYA photos for five years. You don't have to load them up to Google, get a Dropbox thing. Uh, you don't have to deal with zipping up a folder and putting them on an external hard drive. It's all done within your just normal inspecting workflow. So that's another kind of benefit. All right, so we busted out the roof. Now let's move on to the house. So in your inspecting, what you might do, if this is maybe part of your routine, you might enter the home and just do kind of like a once around just to get a feel for things and take your room general photos and any CYA photos that 
we went around. First, you open up your camera that is on your device. You're not in the app, you're just in your device's camera. So you can rapidly just go snap, 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 snap. Walk around, snap, 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 snap. Get all your pictures for the rooms. Then click add media. I've kind of saved them here, so I will select them all and then select open. And then I could go in here and select each one and type in living room. If you're on a mobile device, the great thing is you have predictive text. You start typing in living room and it should eventually start to recognize that. So we'll go to the next one. I'm just making that up. Uh, bedroom one. I like to label things bedroom one, two, three. Built in 1904, it was a Sears Craftsman original. So I just kind of go through, maybe that's a CYA, maybe that's a CYA. And it looks like I'm done. I'll close out of there and then to save time, I'll go in and I will. Looks like the select all, you have to check one in order for this little menu to appear, but I'll click select all, and then I'll go to assign, and then I just do the home tour and select done and move on. So the next thing I kind of wanted to illustrate of how photo first can be really helpful in certain areas, of course, the roof, you know, you don't want to spend much time up there. The attic is another great area where you just want to be in and out and you don't want to be in your app. And there's several different systems that could be at play in the attic. You could have electrical, structural, you know, just a bunch of different kinds of things. You could have insulation, ventilation, plumbing, vents and things like that. So I'll just share a few examples here. We went into the attic, snapped all our photos. Go to add media and let's see. I've got my attic photos here, selected them all, and now they're available for me. So, you know, first step, go to your camera on your device, take your pictures. Second step, load them all up in the media gallery. Third step, click on the first one and add your arrows and annotations or any kind of um, location descriptor that you might need. So I've got a couple arrows here for get some roof leak situation going on and missing collar ties, all types of fun stuff in this house. <laughs> all right, that is a plumbing vent going up into the attic. Um, obviously, this one probably doesn't need an annotation, but we'll just do it. All right, so gone in, all my photos have been annotated, and then now I'll go ahead and assign them. So the first one, I will, my two photos, and I'll click assign. Now I'm looking for collar ties, so all I have to do is just type in collar, and it finds my comment for me under rafters. I'll go in there and select done. And then just quickly move on to the next one where I'll do a couple checks, click assign. Well, I could go ahead and add my own comment, right? So I could just go here and this is how you add your own comment. So I'm in roof and, or maybe I'll be here in structure and I'm in roof sheathing. Uh, Oh, okay, I found my comment. That's how you search if you can't type in the search word and you're not quite getting what you need. You can actually just go to the inspection item and you can see a bunch. So show sign of past leakage. I'll check that and select done. Then I will go here to this one. I'll click assign. And then this is a plumbing vent. So it's like an exhaust. So I can type in exhaust and just see what's available. It's a plumbing vent. So actually it's an insulation ventilation. Kitchen and bath does not exhaust to exterior. I'll click done. 
Um, and then my final one here, I'll, I'll click assign. And then once I click assign, I can type in maybe junction box. There's a lot of them, but I can click there and just find the right one that I'm looking for or type in another word to try and narrow down the filter. So this is a cover plate missing. So I'll check that and select done. And now all that's cleared out and it was relatively simple. All right. So that's the gist of how this works. Also great for crawl spaces. Who wants to be in there? You don't, you know, you want to get in, you want to get out. The cool thing is put all the pictures in the right spot. They all have the severity already linked to the, the comment in the picture, but you didn't have to spend time going through here and then navigating through all the systems to find the specific one and then going in and adding a comment and then taking your picture. There's a lot of steps that you're saving with the photo first method. So that's kind of like the basics gist of it. It was awesome to share this all with you and I will hopefully see you on the next Lunch and Learn.